Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And girl, are you ready? Because this one is about to get crazy, okay? Like yesterday, everyone was like, oh my god, Diana Jenkins, she is donating $100,000 to the victims of Tom Gerardi. Praise her, you know, God bless her, God bless her heart. Like, girl, thank you, you're an amazing human. Well, stop, stop right there because things might not be as you think they are, okay? There is a lot going on in this donation that, you know, people are digging and now it might not be as good as you think it is and we definitely definitely need to talk about it but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this oh mess hey oh meal no is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. So guys, let's start diving into this whole situation. Like I told you yesterday, it was like this huge move of Diana Jenkins donating a hundred thousand dollars, you know, like that's a lot of money. And you know, I was like, for a moment, I was, I know that we all hate Diana Jenkins. Well, not hate, but dislike, you know. We all dislike Diana Jenkins. And for a moment, I was like, you know what? We should not care if we dislike her or not, as long as she is doing this, you know, big move of donating $100,000 to these victims, you know, that they have been waiting for their money for so long, especially with people like Erica Jane, who's still fighting for the damn earrings, right? So it's like, okay, this is a big move, you know, so thank you, Diane. I mean, your heart is big. You are now telling us this is incredible. So I'm going to read you exactly what she did. Uh, she posted a picture of her foundation and she says, I was not aware of this tragedy until it became a topic of conversation on The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. I feel so much sympathy for the widows and orphans left behind. I know firsthand the pain and suffering that accompanies the loss of a family member having lost my brother in the closing days of the Bosnian War. I want to do what I can to support those people who suffer so much. For more information, visit sanellafoundation.org. And, um, you know, and then she says, and, and the post itself says, Sanella Diana Jenkins donates, donates $100,000 to help Lion Air flight 610 victims' families. Okay? It says, supporting families of those killed in Indonesian air disaster is first project of Jenkins' newly formed Sanella Foundation, a partner of GVNG. Entrepreneur and philanthropist Sanella Diana Jenkins announced today that she will donate, she will donate $100,000 to benefit immediate family members of the 189 passengers and crew who were killed in 2018 when Lion Air Flight 610 crashed into the Java Sea shortly after takeoff in Indonesia. Jenkins, founder and CEO of Neurobrand's Beverage Company and a cast member on the television series The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, said she will make the contribution through her new charity, the Sonella Foundation, which is partnering with 501c3 nonprofit GVNG.org to raise funds to those in need throughout the world. Okay. 
Anyone who wants to donate to the families of the Lion Earth victims will be able to do so through the Sonella Foundation and GVNG. Details about how to contribute will be available soon, blah, blah, blah. All donations will be received and secured by GVNG, which will also establish a process for immediate family members to the, of the Flight 610 victims to apply for and receive support. Money raised in this project is completely unrelated to ongoing litigation related to the tragedy. Okay, trying to save her neck. So that uh, that sounds so nice. That sounds like oh my god, this is like Miss Marvel, like then you Captain, you know, Captain Marvel, you know, being like yes, girl, do you? You are a superhero. Well, this is when it gets complicated because as you know, when you join Real Housewife, you get millions of eyes and ears everywhere around the world with access to an infinite amount of um, information and well according to the twitters and to the streets of twitter and reddit there is so much more so this is actually brought where is the name of this uh from an instagram i think it's called reality face uh one six uh i'm gonna try to find the right uh, Instagram, but I think it's reality phase uh, one six, and then, uh, but this this person is taking everything from what is going on on Twitter. So apparently, someone on Twitter just broke this down. She isn't donating to an established victim fund. She is donating to her own foundation which is soliciting other donations and then will allegedly dole out funds if or when the victims apply. Another person says, besides being a tax break move for her, but, not, but tax breaks are not equal to the full donation, it looks like it's a grief to get others to donate through her fund it's more like a big administrative cost grief to make money off her foundation, okay? And then when you go to the Sonella Foundation website and you go into our projects, this is what it says. The Sonella Foundation is proud to announce that its first project in partnership with GVNG.org will raise funds for the families of the 189 passengers and crew members who lost their life when Lion Air Flight 610 crashed into the Java Sea shortly after takeoff from Jakarta. Sonella founder Diana Jenkins, and this is when it gets interesting, has pledged $100,000 to this project. All donations will be collected, safeguarded, and distributed by our partners at GVNG to the widows, orphans, and close family members of those who die. So he, she pledged $100,000 of the money that she is actually collecting through this brand new foundation. So she is not putting her own money, her own $100,000. She's not donating it, okay? She's opening a foundation to get the money, okay? Um, so now, of course, these people on Twitter and Reddit and everyone else are saying, well, you are being fake. Because now you are creating this foundation, which don't get me wrong. I mean, it's still a big move to create a foundation to help these victims. Like this is something that literally Erica Jenku have done from the beginning and it will be way different, right? But she is creating this literally at the same time that is airing on our TVs what is going on with Erica Jane and now that everyone is against Diana Jenkins, you know? So is it this kind of like a PR move? Basically what it's saying over there is like, if she's able to recollect the $100,000, then those $100,000 will go to the victims, but it needs to be recollected first from people who will donate. Hmm... 
I don't know. I don't know. I mean, look, still a lot of investigation to do. And I'm on the side of the victims, you know. So whoever wants to give them the money, I'm I'm good, you know. Like, and even if Diana Jenkins cuts a check tomorrow for one hundred thousand dollars and make the deposit to this foundation to send it to the widows, I'm fine with it, baby girl. Like, do it, you know. But with all of these and all the shady things that are going around now, it sounds kind of like a PR move slash tax move slash just being shady you know which is what she's being accused constantly since she joined the show so i don't know i'm gonna leave that for you so let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this whole situation and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye